And welcome everybody here on Twitch Chance and everybody on YouTube for some historic elves. That's right, we're going with mono green elves in historic. Uh, we played this once before in best of one. It was a lot of fun. We're going to now try it in best of three with a sideboard. Even though our sideboard's not so good, I think this is probably a better best of one deck than best of three deck. But we're going to try some best of three today. You know, like where that's what we're kind of doing with historic. Um, and so far, so good. You know, we had, had some good success with our first two decks to play. And I think this one will be pretty fun to play. We should have some quick matches and everything like that. But yeah, this deck's all about just uh, ramping, getting a lot of mana, and getting a ton of card advantage thanks to Beast Whisper and Vanquisher's Banner at the top end. Every time we cast a creature spell or an elf spell, which will be the same, every time we cast one of those, we'll be drawing cards. And so we're just trying to ramp into these two things, untap, play a whole bunch of elves, draw a bunch of cards. Elvish Visionaries, of course, our new one here from Magic Origins. That's that symbol. Um, being able to just be a two drop that draws a card. Of course, if we have these things in, we draw multiple cards. Um, we have eight Lord effects with Imperious Perfect and Elvish Clan Caller to make our creatures bigger. Um, and of course, Marwyn. Every elf that comes in, it can just add tons and tons of mana. It's just a pretty fun deck to play. Um, it's all about, you know, like our opponent is just going to be trying to play sweepers to destroy all of our elves. We're going to hope they don't have sweepers. We got the spicy salmon in here. Um, not spicy salmon, spicy salmon uh, that <clears throat> gives our creatures haste. So if we can untap with this thing, if we can just play a bunch of creatures in a turn, they can all have haste and so that we can attack the opponent. And also, mana creatures with haste are pretty nice. You know, like, you play Land War Elf, um, you know, play Land War Elf, draw a card, you can tap it for one mana, it's, you know, basically free, so it's just like zero mana draw a card, just cycling through the deck. Um, so yeah, mana creatures with haste is pretty sweet also. That's what our deck's all about. So it's, si I put together just a, a crude sideboard here, Veil of Summer is pretty obvious. Um, Thorn Lieutenant's going to be for, like, the red matchup, because, like, the red decks just bolt all your elves and you're sad. Um, but this thing at least is a, an elf that they have to bolt twice. You know, they bolt it and you get another 1-1. One, one. Reclamation Sage for, like, your Wilderness Reclamation decks. Um, Steel Leaf Champion also for, like, the red matchup, just to have a 5-4. Um, and then other, other like, aggro creature decks that you need to be doing more attacking stuff. So so that's what this is for, like, like your Gruel decks. Um, just getting a 3-mana 5-4 uh, with that sizing, with that being, with that mattering. And then Questing Beast against Control Decks. Uh, they Wrath us, then we play a Questing Beast and start attacking them with Questing Beast afterwards. That's our our uh, threat to bring in in the sideboard. All right, so let's play some ranked, traditional, historic, ranked. Let's go, elves. Here we go. <laughs> some spicy salmon. Let's keep. We'll just cast Once Upon a Time immediately, see if we find... An... We did not. Um, a Land War Elf, just to play right away. Ah. Land War Elf, you're too late. Well, not really, but... Castle? Temple? Alright, definitely feels like Nexus. So it certainly feels like. Please, no reclamation. Hopefully they have a kind of slow hand. No reclamation. Give me some time. Yeah, no reclamation. All right. Play this. Draw some cards. Trigger, trigger. So, so two mana, draw three.
That's pretty good. Follow that up with a two mana draw two. Follow that up with a one mana draw two. And we have 12 power in play. Boo. Blast zone. <laughs> Imagine going to a historic queue and saying, hey, I should bring back Nexus. Um, yeah, I mean, I assume they're Nexus. But I guess maybe they're not. Well, we'd have to draw another Lord here to make this lethal. Any of our eight lords? Huh, none of them. Well, I mean, I guess I just... Yeah, I mean, I just have to attack for lethal and not let them... You know, make them, like, make them use the blasso, not let them do anything else. Uncomfortable chill. Well then. Ah, uh, the next card was the Lord. This card four cards? It's so many cards. All right, there's the first Nexus. Yeah, Questing Beast in the sideboard stops Root Snare. If, like, their plan is, like, Root Snare me and prevent damage, like, Questing Beast says the damage doesn't be prevented. Obviously, this thing doesn't... Follow the tracks of the wise. Obviously, that thing's not uh, like the same as like root snare doesn't stop this thing, but yeah. So that's why they're playing those because of questing beast makes sense. All right, they didn't find. Reclamation, so let's play or they didn't, they didn't find yeah, they didn't find reclamation, so we need our reclamation sage though. And we need our questing beast. Um Alright, how are we doing this? Take out a banner and the Samet for these questing beasts. I don't know if I want Veil of Summer or not. Ooh, they could have Ripjaw Raptors. That's yeah, they probably will. We'll try to go wide. Um I do kind of feel like Fauna Shaman would be good, you know, like helping us find recl more reclamation sages or questing beasts. I don't really have other cards to cut though. Unless I just like take out banner. I don't think I cut elves. I was in like cut the perfects. I think we do want the card advantage. Hmm. Let's take out a land. 
with them not really playing s removal, it's like our, our mana creatures are going to live. We'll just play two Questing Beasts. We don't need to have all three. All right, let's see what we've got. It's a good first game win. Lana War Elves. All right, so you have a Reclamation Sage in case of Wilderness Reclamation. Big reason why I kept the hand. So I, I, I may turn this may turn a beast whisper into a questing beast here to put pressure on this Tamio. Could grab a Marwin also. Let's start trying to get more mana. Come on, deck. Come on, little buddy. Um, yeah, as far as a Planeswalker out of the board for this deck, I think 5-mana Vivian's probably the one. I mean, that's their third uncomfortable chill. I know, right, QQ? I can't wait either. We'll get a new com new computer here soon. Seek and find. Soon. There's all the lands. Do not harm my scrolls. I think you will find my notes helpful. Man, they've dug so far for wilderness reclamation. All right, that's probably just game. Okay, another comes through inside. I'm willing to concede there. I don't want to just sit here and wait forever and see, do they whiff, do they whiff, do they whiff? No, that's, that's, that's good enough for me.
Maybe I'll just play Steel Leaves instead of these Elvish Champion Elvish Visionaries. I'll just get this other land in and play Steel Leaves. Cause they're they're not playing fog. They're just doing the minus two, minus zero card. So get another get a card that hits hard. Alright, so obviously we really want to draw a, a second forest so we can play Marwin on turn two. If we get to play Marwin on turn two, that could make this hand go so fast. Like this is a this is a great hand if we draw forest or castle, you know, if we just draw a land here. Oh no. We did not though. That's definitely gonna slow us down. Now we got that. Oh yeah, I, I had it. I had. Do you have a? You have an extra code there, boot. I had. Um, Welch Dragon gave me some codes earlier. I gave away those codes though. Hey, Sincrise, getting the, the gifted sub. Thank you so much there, Santa Boot. Doing some trivia there in chat. Stop. I don't like these either, Gus. So, of course, they get to untap their mana because of Reclamation. Seriously? Return to Ravnica was 2012. Dang, it doesn't seem that long ago. So they're down to just three cards.
All right, so all they did this turn was just scry two to the bottom, then scry two to the bottom. I'm fine with that. This is looking good. Boom. The elves. Taking down Nexus. Yeah, no, the, I, we never saw root snares from our uh, from our opponent. It didn't seem like they were playing root snares because of questing bees. It seemed like they were playing those. I think it was uncomfortably chill. I think that was the name of the card. Seems like they were playing those instead. But yeah, we, we had the root snare plan covered with the beast. All right, good looking hands. Oh no, a mirror match. Mirror match. Oh, not mirror match. We need more mana. Hmm. That thing's gonna be tough. I think this is the first time we played against somebody with the dragon. What happens when we click on their dragon? Well, that's game. Yeah, Ember Cleave is. Gonna make this matchup a huge problem. Of course. I guess we gotta play a couple of Reclamation Sage because of that. I mean, I, I really like Elvish Visionary, but I think it's just the card that we're going to cut. This is just going to get run over. Ugh, that's such a bad hand. I, mean, I guess Once Upon a Time can hit a mana creature. We put back, oh, this is a bad hand. It's probably better than a six card hand though. Guess we put this back. Ah, uh, we had a winner. Rot MK winning the trivia. Congratulations.
All right, so no land werewolf. There's our 20th sub of the day. That's two sub goals t towards our next 12 hour stream. No land drop there. Unfortunately, if we were drawing the land, obviously I was just going to start playing Beast Whisperers first. Yeah, I haven't, uh, I ordered the new computer the, the weekend. It hasn't come in, you know, hasn't come in the mail yet. And, you know, we're going to build it and stuff like that. Um, but definitely looking forward to it. Um, land, yeah. Yeah, so not in yet so we're still you know still using the same old computer but got got it yesterday with the black with the cyber monday sales no attacks Flood the board. I need them to not draw a red source. Cause I need this I need them to not play in Brickleave. Yeah, it definitely seems like they're saving creatures for Embercleave. Alright, Marwin. Get us empty mana. For next turn, of course. So many cards. Um, do I attack? Definitely trying to set up an Ember Cleave kill. That's the one thing I have to protect against. No, they drew the red source. Ugh.
Well, I probably have lethal. All right, so they have four blockers. They block one, two, three, four. Oh, they have to block this thing. So one, two, three, four. That means I'm getting through with one. So five, six, seven, eight. Eight plus 12 is 20. So yes, I am attacking for lethal. Yeah, might as well play a creature just in just in case we find like another lord. But yeah, it looks like we have Xaxes here. Double check. They go block the eights, block the fives. They take five, six, seven, eight, plus twelve. Eight plus twelve is twenty. The only way for me to play Questing Beast would be to tap Marwyn, which we could have. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Actually, no, we would have had 19 damage then if I would have tapped Marwyn for Questing Beast. Yeah, actually, that would have brought us from having lethal to not having lethal anymore. Because they would be able to block the other five power thing. All right, on the draw, I'm going to try playing these Thorn Lieutenants. Try to make them bigger with um, with the Lords. If we had like a Marwyn in that hand, we could probably probably could have kept it. This is not a good hand either. Bleh. Um. That's a really, really unfortunate once upon a time because while we did get the turn one land world, which is awesome. We just put a whole bunch of good three drops that I want to be drawing down to the bottom, which is not awesome. Like we just put like four of my best draw steps down at the bottom of the library. Peace Whisper is a good one though. What do you do? You pay one tap, make an elf. Ow. Yeah, old Rippy J. Not good. Hmm. Darn it, I would have been able to play this if I would have activated Castle. The problem with... The problem with activating Castle, though, is I, I would have been able to play a 3-drop exactly, but the problem is then if we don't draw a 3-drop exactly, then I you know I don't get to activate the Imperious Perfect because we can't use the mana for that. 
but again, specifically, like, if I would draw on specifically three drop, this would have been great. Obviously, I can't really just predict I'm going to draw specifically three drop. Hey, Paul. Oh, I guess yeah, you can use abilities of creatures. I was just I would just forgot about that part. Just didn't really think of that part. That's my bad. I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't really realize that because that's never really come up for me. So they block this. They take 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Ugh. So close. We had seventeen. Two and oh. Opponent did not draw Ember Cleave. Made our life very good. All right, we're two and zero. With elves. <laughs> I know. Yep, elves and questing beast. Card is too good. Questing beast is just is it's in the sideboard, but feels like where you're bringing it in against everything though. Yeah, I agree. This song is great. And yeah, I don't I couldn't tell you another song by 38 special. Hey, Zaxor, GG's. Yeah, I couldn't quite get that Ember Cleave. Couldn't get the second mana the second red mana game two. And then couldn't quite get the Ember Cleave game three. And that was definitely the card that I I couldn't really beat. GG's though, Zaxxer. Alright, opponent's playing once upon a time perfectly. Oh no. Please no ember cleaves. No bone crusher giant either. 
Let me untap. What are you doing? Ugh. Gross. Feature! Happy anniversary! 12 month streak. There, thank you so much, Feature. No, I should probably attack there. I don't really want to block with the visionary. At least, I don't want to block Burning Tree Emissary, that is. Hmm, Embercleave. Well, if I don't block at all, will I have lethal? Definitely not. I need to send in one five five. Huh. I mean they're telling me they have they have lethal still. It's certainly possible. Do they not? Do they just have nothing? Oh my gosh. Really? They just didn't leave anything back? Just didn't think I could make blocks that would keep me alive? Okay. Well then. Well then. Awesome, Zaxer. Yes, yeah, so you're playing. Yeah, you're playing my the the grill deck that I built a few weeks ago. Yeah, that, that deck's awesome. I'm on the draw. So this is a forest. We have turn one land where else we just have to draw a land in one of our first two turns to get to this Marwin and then go crazy. It's not bad. Yeah, it was like it was the computer is almost two hundred dollars off for getting on Cyber Monday. So yeah, it was, it was a good deal.
Burning Tree Emissary pretty broken. Come on. Obviously, if they have an Ember Cleave, we're going to die. We're going to die to a whole lot of stuff, though. I guess Trample now. No, a phoenix? Well, that's not good. Can't be phoenix. Yep, GG. Really good hand for the opponent there with the double burning tree, double, triple... Triple removal. Double burning tree, triple removal. That certainly hurt. Well, I... Yeah, I definitely thought about Phoenix whenever I whenever I built the Gruul deck before, but I don't, didn't want it because of Oko. You know, it wasn't. I mean, I could see it playing in the. I definitely consider playing in the sideboard instead of um, instead of Rip Draw, but Rip Draw is so much better against Mono Red. But yeah, like with with Oko, I just I don't really want Rekindling Phoenix at all. It doesn't have haste. Um, yeah, I just wasn't interested in it. Obviously, in this specific matchup, though, against just elves with no removal, uh, that's just trying to block the card's amazing.
they better not have lava coil. is such a beating. Blessing Beast trades for their one drop. So obviously I had a plan for the Lovestruck Beast, but Hellkite... Don't have a plan for Hellkite. The Flyers... So yeah, I, I like Hellkite more than Phoenix in a metagame with Oko. I like Hellkite a lot. Yeah, the Flyers, though. That's a little rough. Flyers and Embercleave. All right, let's draw lands. If we draw lands, our hand's pretty incredible. We got everything we want. We got acceleration and our card draw. Like that's that's everything we want. We just need just need lands now. Hmm, reclamation again. It's not land. Okay. Starting to get there. So, of course, leading with Marwyn because Marwyn can just start adding just a ton of mana. So, do I want to just play... Three mana creatures this turn. Let's see, I can go one, two. I could go two mana creatures, then Beast Whisperer. So I guess I'm going to do that. Which, obviously, playing the creatures before Beast Whisperer and Banner isn't usually ideal. Well, darn. Chat working? I think so.
Okay, not you. Alright, here we go. They are not hitting land drops over there. Alright, cool. Chat's working. Well, I have, let's see, that's 12, 19, 22, 26. Yuck. 29. I have 29 damage if I attack with stuff. All right, so we're going to be using Questing Beast post board to stop those tricks. So are we dead? Hopefully not. Uh, probably dead. Third reclamation. Well, second one in play, they have the one in the graveyard. Okay, not activating the Ascanta there. Ah, because they were doing that. So they have enough mana to activate Ascanta three times a turn, but not enough to do three times plus Nexus. They can do like twice a Nexus. One, two, three. Yeah, they'd be one short. Just the trick for this. I already give up. Multiple Escanta activations with that. And we already know they're going to fog us. So we're going to have nothing for the next turn. Certainly considering playing some Veil of Summers. I think I want like two Veil of Summer. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Nexus is kind of tough. I mean, it makes, it makes sense to have Oko be your win con in Nexus because Oko is just such a strong card anyway. Oko can shut down uh, like my Beast Whisper, Marwin, all that kind of stuff. The Vanquisher's Banner. That's why I wanted to board those out. Even Questing Beast, but hopefully Questing Beast just kills our opponent. Um, yeah, Steel Leaf can hit hard. Uh, 
um, our opponents, you know, like they're using like the fog effect. So I'm kind of just going to try to get 20 power out there with Questing Beast pretty fast. Like that's, that's kind of the goal is to get 20 power out as fast as possible. Hmm. I guess I'm getting rid of the Once Upon a Time. My hand's pretty good. So I'm going to go, what, turn one Elf, turn two uh, Druid. I could Obviously, I could go tr Druid plus Elf on turn two. But I think I just want to go turn two Druid and then turn three have five mana and try to go Beast Whisperer Elf and draw another card. The really how our deck is the fastest it is is by going over the top and you know drawing lots of cards and playing a whole lot of stuff. That's how our deck's really as fast as it is, and not just you know playing like a, a five power thing on turn two and attacking the next four turns with it. So that's so that's why I think that Once Upon a Time was worse than Land of War because this next turn I get to play Beast Whisper and Land of War and draw. And so I, you know, get my elf out that draws a card instead of just take, you know, it's either take one of the the top five cards or have a 1-1 one, one that draws a card. That, you know, adds mana and everything. I guess that's what I, that's what I was thinking. I really hope they don't have Oko that turns Beast Whisper into an elk. Hey, what's up, Aaron? Thanks for the reset. Our 20 seconds of the day. Banner. Draw a card. Draw a card. Want to do this first because we saw Mystical Dispute from them last game. They have Mystical Disputes. They're not going to be able to counter their Reclamation Sage. for 11 like next turn is just going to be lethal attack anyway might as well draw two cards instead and get closer to another reclamation sage or a questing beast I missed out on three points of damage to play the, par to play the paradise druid there
Aethergust. Alright. So yeah, that's that's kind of our decks. Goal is to to go to go way over the top. So I've just a, a five four. If if they're playing like those uncomfortably chills, I would like the five fours more. Like, as you saw, I brought them in earlier. But I think you know, like they're doing the um, the fogs instead. Okay, one and one. Get this game three. Misery Land. Thank you so much for resubbing. Lots of awesome resubs today. Thank you, Misery Land. Let's do it. Draw some cards. Looking for Reclamation Sage and Quest and Beast. Love it. All the people getting the hypes in the chat. Love it. Okay. Don't do it. No. I uh, hate turn two grow spiral. It better not be turn three wilderness reclamation on the play. Don't do it. Don't do it. Pass. Pass turn. See those things? Just pass turn. Pass turn. Yay. All right. Um, I guess I'm going to play Banner because it just costs five instead of four. Oh, they did not hit a land drop. Obviously, they have like bounce spells. It's really annoying. I like this deer hanging out over here. What do you think that deer is saying? It's like, hey, watch out for Oko. He's going to elk you. I just got elked. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. They're probably going to try to. Probably trying to fog here. So, to play the questing beast, make sure we take out that Oko. Practice on your prowess. 
<laughs> that deer used to be a questing beast. Back in the day. So that's going to attack there. They run out of cards. All right, their plan was, it was very obvious what my plan was. Their plan was chemistry's insight. They definitely, they wasted a mana if they would have just, you know, had the end step stop. They could have had the two mana for like a growth spiral or something. Um, really, it's do I do the extra three points of damage or cast the once upon a time? I'm going to do the three points of damage. So they need like a, a bounce for questing beast and a fog. So they need like fog plus blink of an eye. Can't get it. All right, elves are three and one. Going big. All right, one more match. Let's do a computer reset, though. It's been kind of slow here. All right, GG's. Yeah, I wish the dragon whelp changed colors. Wish it did. But it does not. Yeah, I could definitely yeah, I definitely see Questing Beast really hurting Nexus. And then yeah, even Bone yep, even like the red decks playing Bone Crusher Giant. Um yeah, you really just can't rely on the fogs anymore. Hmm. They would, like if these were if these were like mana accelerants, you know, I would keep this, but they're not. All right, we got turn three banner. Ooh, that's a pretty cool box. Three-tailed fox. Rawr, rawr. This is definitely like a, a Bruce Banner deck. Oh yeah, I forgot about that land war elf. I got those. Uh, 
Ugh. The brambles of truth. That's very good against my Vanquisher's banner. Choking out lies. Surely you must be famished. You don't like the squatting Lanawar Elf? This one looks super tough for a 1-1. One, one. It's a lot more tough than this thing that's a 1-3. Whoa. Oh dear. Twas not expecting that. You like the plain, the plain pets, the plain fox, the cutest one. You don't need your fox with armor. So why don't they just minus five the Yoko, steal the questing beast? And then play like Wicked Wolf and kill one of the other things. They could have their own, or, it's, or not the questing beast, but Beast Whisper. They could have just had their own Beast Whisper. Could have their own Beast Whisper. I think a little merriment is in order. Or they could, they could turn this ba this Vanquisher's banner into something that's not going to draw me a lot of cards. At some point, too. Basically, no use attacking Oko. Has too much loyalty. They get their one activation a turn. Oh, we're just going to try to attack them for 20. I'm casting the Once Upon a Time here. Instead of attacking Oko for four. And by... If I attack them for 20, I really mean like attack them for 40 because of the life they get to gain because of Oko. If they never figure out that they can turn my banner into a 3-3, three, three, we, could, we, we could be just fine. If they never figure that out. Which it doesn't look like they have figured out. <laughs> Fairness? What a bizarre expectation. True. <laughs> and he's in an elk card and not elf. Elk. Do, 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 do. 
More mana. They get Noko activation each turn, but we're having cooler turns. Ah, this is a flash deck now. Surely you must be famished. We about to have an awesome turn. Because they never get rid of our banner. So we're about to have an awesome turn. Go team elf ball. <laughs> All right, what you what you killing? Oh, that is not the correct thing to kill. Definitely need to kill Beast Whisperer or Marwin. Oh, definitely. Yeah. If if my opponent would have just elked this banner, we would have no, we would have had no shot. But that's true. We got a, a long way to go, but we can do it. This next turn's going to be pretty decent. Come on, let me untap, let me untap, let me untap. Alright, whatever, I don't care. Five damage. Um, Block? Nah, whatever. You can do five damage to me. You got it. Take it. Take it all. Alright, here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Undo. What are you doing? Tabbing my Marwin. What is that? Alright. Alright, start with the perfect because it doubles, you know, it, it counts as two mana towards Marwin, so it's really only like, like one mana. But of course, these are, these are two that also add one mana to Marwyn. Are we going to pass all those creatures? Oh, we'll, we'll have more creatures than them. Don't you worry about that. We'll figure that out. Um, so are we going to kill them before we mill out? All right, so both Elvish Clan Caller and Land Warolf are just free. This costs two, but then adds two power to Marwyn. This costs one and adds one power to Marwyn. Yeah, I ordered the new computer yesterday. Uh, it hasn't hasn't come in the mail yet, and so it'll be a couple of days for it to. Yeah, I got it with all the Cyber Monday stuff. So we have twenty eight cards. I probably want to wait on Vanquisher's banner until we're going in for the for the kill. That's the thing I have to worry about. How 
probably drawn all these lands. There's 23 lands in the deck. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I don't know. Gone through a lot of them. Said we'll we'll get through those things. We'll we'll get through these things. Um So the only thing that can actually attack is the Beast Whisperer. Nope, not you. Marwin can add 17 mana next turn. <laughs> Health of a turn. There we go. We got Samet for next turn. All right, so next turn we'll have everything have haste. And they'd be pretty dead. Choose attackers. Oh, I can attack with you too. So what if I attack with both of y'all at Oko? I don't care if they kill Beast Whisperer. I honestly, I honestly kind of want Beast Whisperer dead because it's, it's hard, you know, I. It's uh, easier to mill out with Beast Whisperer in play. But yeah, if they do two chump blocks here, that's two less chump blocks they're going to have next turn. I wonder if my opponent realized that killing the Imperius Perfect last turn was not the correct card to kill. Yet. Alright, so we have to discard 11 cards at end of turn. Discard 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10. I guess they could get rid of Marwin. 9. 10. 11. We're just going to have our whole library. We don't need these once upon a times. Either. <laughs> this is some good old elf ball action right here. I don't even know if Oko can handle this. Magic Harry! An entire year of seven. Thank you so much, Magic Harry. First, we got a 2020. You don't see 2020s in standard too often. Especially a 3 mana 2020 that just added 14 mana in my next turn. Like my last turn, that thing just tapped for 14. Or something close to that. <laughs> Rivers Rebuke, don't you dare. I invite you to change your ways. Bleh. Alright, so maybe we can't... Hmm. Alright, maybe we don't have infinite mana to play everything now. I 
how do we want to do this? So I want to play Samet and Marwen. How many lords are in play? There's three lords in play. Two more are dead. So obviously three plus two is five. There's eight in the deck. There's three more in my deck. Oh, we have one in hand. Okay. So how difficult would it be to cast Samet and Marwen? Where are you going? So I think, I think we would have Samet to give all of our creatures haste. Marwen, you know, we want Marwen with haste. Uh, we'd also do the minus one on Marwen to give Marwen plus two power. <laughs> yeah, what if yeah, what if they just use their they just use their two like they made like another um food and then they just use their two gilded goose and cast out all the wreckage? How brutal would that have been? What's up, Hawkeye? Alright, so that's the game plan of our deck. I don't know if it's really gonna change here. Obviously, banner is not very good against Oko, but if my opponent doesn't know they can just elk the banner, then maybe it's really good. Um, Bill of Summer could keep them from elking some stuff and could keep them from countering some stuff. We saw them playing some counter spells. Let's play a couple of Veil of Summers. Just a couple. Okay. More win. Obviously keeping this because we have Marwin. Got our land drops, Marwin. We'll have Tons of man, and now we just got to draw all the other stuff in our deck. And there's 113 power on board last time you countered. Man, that was going to go so. I was going to go so far up, too, if my opponent let me have that turn. Turn two Steel Leaf Champion is like pawn to e4 in chess. It just works. I don't even know what that means, but I like it. Okay, we're back to streaming. Aren't you so happy? Witness the ties that bind us all. All right, turn three, Nessa. Rise, my elemental friend. We got turn three Nissa, but we got turn three Marwin. Which one actually makes more mana? Turn three Marwin really is the new turn three Nissa. We saw what happened that last game whenever we untapped with Marwin the one time. This game, untapped with Marwin one time, isn't going to be as, as spectacular. But untapped 
untapping with it a couple of times could be good. Hey Matthew, welcome back. The land shall conquer you. Oh yeah, I guess I could have swung the one, the two one at Nissa. That's gonna hurt. Revel with your king, wild and All sovereign right. and free. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> Santa's jealous of our deck. With all the elves. <laughs> Alright, much better looking hand than the last one that I just had. Here we got turn two Marwin on the play. Now we need something to draw cards. Oh, I know. If Burning Tree was an elf. Oh, man. If only Burning Tree was an elf. Elf only. Burning Tree was an elf. Each means we're playing historic. Yeah, the H over here means we're playing historic. All right, so they're holding up another quench. Definitely holding up quench. I think I let them quench a Paradise Druid. Obviously, I could just play around that forever. It's not really need to, though. Yeah, they could still have turn three Nissa, turn two counter spell, turn three Nissa. They do. Through this land, we are all connected. It's not good. Honest the elements. Go, elves, go! What? Trade with what? Marwin? Marwin is... I think I, I think I had Marwin tapped. I mean, the Paradise Druid was a 2-1. It didn't trade with the forest. Or, like, if you, maybe you met Land War Elf, trade with their Land War Elf, but...
but we have all these lords in play. They're going to make our land worlds a lot bigger and better. Ugh. Man, their hand was incredible. Six, eleven, fifth, eleven, sixteen. Uh, yeah, no, I did. I didn't attack with the Morrowind because I'm. I'm gonna use Morrowind to go grab another Elvish Clan Caller here. So we are we are trading our Lord for these two. We traded. We traded our Lord away, but we have. You know, we just got a new Lord in play anyway. Yeah, cause like this, cause this thing adds this thing added eight mana, and you know the activate ability is six. It adds it adds mana equal to whatever its power is. Yeah. Oh, yep. Power. Yep. Power, not counter. So, yeah, these things pumping it up can make it add tons and tons of mana. All right. Well, they got one card and a Nissa. So what you got? Oko. Walk with me, sing with me. I will enlighten you. Oh dear. Um so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's nineteen. They got 19 damage there. All right. Four and one. Beat a couple Oko decks. Well, our deck was pretty impressive. I don't think we... I mean, we really shouldn't have won that one. Like, if my opponent would have played better with their Oko game. Like, game one, we should not have won. But they never got rid of the Vanquisher's Banner. We got to see the crazy stuff we got to do. It's just a pretty fun deck to play, though. You get to do some crazy stuff with this thing. And, um, you know, you don't have to worry too much about interacting with the opponent. You just do you just do your crazy elf stuff. You know, if you don't... If you're uh, kind of newer to Historic, you're kind of worried about, you know, having, like, all the right interaction spells for all your opponent's stuff. And, like, what all do you need to play? Like, what do you need to play around? All that kind of stuff. Elves could be the deck for you. Just throw down your cards. And uh, just go really big. And just... Always do the plays that maximize your mana for your future turns and try to draw as many cards and get as much mana as possible. And that's what that's what the deck does. Um, <laughs> we added a lady, not a lord. Good call there. Um, but yeah, so fun, fun deck here with elves and historic. Okay. A four one there and ranked good good historic day to day. Hey, the Abzan the Abzan control donation deck was pretty fun to play too. But yeah, I'm liking historic. Um, I think it's pretty fun uh, format to play because it's just you just play against so much different stuff. And yeah, there's a lot of really good things to be doing. Um, but that's pretty fun. All right, so for those of you all watching on YouTube, uh, you know the drill. Hit that like button over there. And feel free to leave comments if you're playing Elves yourself. Let me know how it's going for you. 
um, anything that you're struggling with or any any sideboard cards he found um you know my sideboard i kind of threw together today i liked it though like i you know these are all five cards that i'm comfortable with but there could be some sideboard gem that i'm missing for this deck um all right uh but yeah that's it here for historic so thank you so much for uh watching and um i'll see you for the next video